Hi, this is Scott with Affordable Video Surveillance Systems and AffordableCCTV.com. And what we're doing here today is we're showing off our Aver Media software. Now, we're big fans of this software, and there wasn't any real easy resources to really learn more about it or how it works, so we just wanted to show you uh, through the use of this video here what kind of things you can do with this software. The first thing is the buttons here on the right. We can set it to go full screen of course and we can click on individual cameras and get them to come up that way multiple camera views here we can set to like this camera view and switch cameras in and out and we also have some pan tilt controls it's very easy just click on the camera you want to control and start hit the buttons Also, too, we have a lot of ways to go back and review the video. And you see we have this button here on the lower right, this playback button. Brings it all up. And to pick a day to review the video, hit this archive button. And if you notice, the bold dates on the calendar there are days that we have recorded video. So we'll go for the 16th here pick a time there, we have 0 through 2300 hours, we'll pick noon, hit OK, and we instantly go back to that part of the video. Pretty simple to get back to it. Now let's go back here to the main software. Let's show you some of the features here in the setup. Now we'll start with the system here. Now start with storage. Now we can enable all kinds of storage here. And I like using the network storage, especially if you have a lot of hard drive space on multiple computers. You can just click it and see I have Z mounted there as a network drive. Add that folder, pops up, and 184 gigabytes are now available on that remote hard drive. Pretty simple to add network storage. Now of course we also have auto log on set so it comes on with the computer we have dual monitor support and a couple of different ways to use that let me hit OK here and go back to the main set setup screen and we have different options for our cameras here as well and of course we can do our brightness contrast adjustments but we also have noise reduction and automatic brightness control and we can even enable a night view that will really boost up the images when it's dark out. And of course we have our de-interlace that can remove those interlacing lines. Now I love the remote DVR. That's really handy because if you have another DVR that's across the room, across the country, across the planet, you can add it, import its cameras onto this unit and view them just like they are cameras here locally. All we need to do is pop in its IP address, username and password, and pick the channel, and we're good to go. And of course we have a lot of IP cameras support here as well. Let me show you that. Now many different protocols that we support here with this Aver software, like Axis or JVC, or we even have Sony down here. And we would just pop in the address of the camera, and we would be good to go. So many different options there are available for using IP cameras or different varieties of cameras. Let me show you here this recording settings. Now of course we can adjust each camera individually and we can set it all according to the schedule. We can set to record with motion 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, or we can set different times here for, for it to always record and not be based on motion. It's real simple here just to go and adjust that calendar. And of course we can hit the all button and adjust all of our cameras at the same time. I'll set them all to motion here because it's really nice to have it set that way. So we maximize our hard drive space. And of course if we have a street there, imagine we had a street, we didn't want to have the cars come on.
and start recording with the just random traffic coming by so we can mask off different sections of the screen. Now if a car were to drive by in that area it wouldn't trigger the recording so we would preserve our hard drive space and get longer recording times that way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set this here hit OK or cancel that one actually and go to the network. Now through the network we can review previously recorded video we can actually send it to cell phones, we can send it to PDA devices uh, running Windows Mobile and so there's a lot we can do here over the network. Now a lot of IP ISPs block port 80 so we can set that to say 8000 or anything really to get around those filters that the internet service providers add in there. And also here I want to show you this handy viewer but what it is is it sets sets it so we can connect to the camera system just with any cell phone. So and we can send it a JPEG image at 352 by 240. And so any s internet enabled cell phone can pick up those images. Very handy. You can grab it on your cell phone, see what's going on. Also this bandwidth limit is really handy. Imagine you had an upload of only 512k. So you wouldn't want to use it all, so you would set to 384. That way you wouldn't compromise your internet when somebody was viewing the camera system remotely. And of course, you know, we can set this to whatever works best for the application. We have 700 and or we have a megabit upload where we're at, so I'll set that to 768. Now on the schedule here, it's really nice. We can set up to of course record all the time which is how we normally have it set to enable the recording. Also enable network so we could disable uh, people's ability to access it over the network maybe during the evenings and leave it available during work hours. It could also be very useful for different applications. And what I really like is this backup here. See we can set it to backup at 11 o'clock to this hard drive, to that remote hard drive, and then of course set it to do an incremental, hit OK, and uh, we're pretty much good to go. Make our daily backups there. Now there's some other things going on here, but we won't really get into it too much. I do want to show you this user spot. This is really nice. So we can set different user permissions, or we can set them to be administrators and have everything. All you have to do is put in the names and the passwords. and. I don't have a name and password in there, so I'll just hit cancel. And we can add as many users as we feel like. Really easy and simple to do. And this alarm panel, well this one's a little more complicated, but I love using this. Because we can add specific behavior, so let me add one there. We'll call it alarm1, and what it will do is we'll send an email. Whenever motion is detected on camera number one, and we'll make it apply to 24-7, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And now if motion is detected on camera 1, it'll send an email to whatever email address we want. We just set it to work with our email account. We can even send images as well. Of course that's not configured. So. Alright, and there's other things you can do too, like we can set it to transmit a few frames of video to FTP server of whatever cameras we specify there. Or we can set it to launch a program, which is really nice because then you can set and script whatever you want this to do. You can have it do it. You can just make your own custom application. So we'll go ahead and clear that, hit OK, we're pretty much good to go. And that's our Aver Media software. I hope you enjoyed our little presentation. We just wanted to show everyone how simple it is to really use this thing.